Chef Paul Lillikis is here with a yummy caprese salad that is double the freshness, double the fun. And Paul, the caprese salad, like it's a classic. We all love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. But of course, you had to get chefy with it. Like you've done a, your own Chef Paul version, right? Yeah, but not too complicated. Yeah. I just thought, you know, between you and me and everybody else, yeah. uh, I remember the first time I had my first caprese salad at a bistro. And when it came, I was like, wow, what a beautiful dish. And then mm. I just thought it lacked something. I mean, it's a classic combination, but I, yeah. fi I figure with a few extra little bump ups in flavor, we can just make it a little better. Of More course fun. you can. Yeah. Why not? Listen, it needs to be the freshest of fresh ingredients, but I understand when you say it, it can be a little bit bland. Don't get mad at me. The Italian's watching. No. So it sounds incredible that you're going to switch it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, before we dive into this delicious recipe and your version of it, let's show the folks at home what they need to make it. So gather all of that good stuff. And let's get started. How do we start the recipe? Okay, so classic caprese, sliced tomato, sliced mozzarella or bocconcini, and basil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to add a few extra things. So let's start with the tomato and the cheese. So okay. I've got some beautiful beef steaks here, nice red color, nice firm texture, and I'm just cutting nice big slices of those. You don't have to use beef steaks. Use whatever is freshest, looks best. If you can get it from somebody's garden, absolutely do that. That's the best way to do it. The fresher, the better. Absolutely. Now, the mozzarella. Nice mm -hmm. buffalo mozzarella. Nice, soft, packed in whey. So yeah. I do dab it dry because it does give off a lot of moisture. Actually, I'm going to use my cheese knife for this. And that is like a good looking cheese knife. I've it's never great. seen one that looks it's like great. that. It's great. Look how like easily it slices yeah. through this. And I'm going to make these just a little bit thinner than my slices of tomato. Yeah. And about two balls for three beef steaks will do the trick. Okay. And now we're just going to start to layer them. So you can probably help me now, here. Now do you do the whole circular thing? Because yeah. I don't know if I can help you with that, Chef. That's what you want me to do? The you whole totally like can. pretty... Look, make yes. a stack. Make oh, that's stack. what you do. Okay, all right. I, then, I can do it. I can do it. Okay, can do you it. do that. and then I think I can. I hope my nail doesn't fall off. I'll help you. I'll help you. Do <laughs> a little if crunch. If my nail ends up in the salad, because they're press-ons, I promise you, I will remove it before it is time to eat the salad. They will Very want important. that in the Quality shot. control. Yes. Okay, so now let's talk about herbs. You can mm -hmm. keep going with that. And then Thank you. Classic basil is yeah. great. Basil and tomato, such a great combination. Delish. But I like food to be playful. I like it to be kind of an adventure in flavor. So yes. when you bring this to the table, we're going to make a trio of herbs in the center. We're using fresh basil, flat leaf parsley, and dill. Oh, nice. All herbs that tomato loves. So I need it to be perfect. Just try to stick to the edge of the plate. Make okay. room for this trio here. All right. Now, we want the trio in the middle. And seasoning is also very, very important. So oh, good stuff. We're doing something like that. That's good. You could probably fit one more in there. And I'm just going to mix these herbs up because I want it to be like a salad in the middle. I want every yeah. bite to be different. And when people come and eat at your table, they're going to be delighted. Every bite's going to be a little bit different. And you, like, are you the type that, like, are you growing your own herbs? Oh, sure. there you go. I brought this with me There you home. go. He brought it in right the from the garden. kitchen. I have Beautiful. a wall garden. You can't have enough herbs in the summertime. Yes. And now, Agreed. let's bump up the flavor even more. So okay. maybe your tomatoes are a little bit out of season, or you know, you just want this to pop a little bit more. Yeah. I've chopped up some sun-dried tomatoes here. Please tell them all what I thought it was. You thought it was bacon bits. I thought it was bacon, For and sure. I was really excited. Which, that would work, too. I'm still excited about the sun-dried tomatoes. Just trust me. This is... Delicious. It's beautiful. You put a nice big dollop on Gorgeous. each one. And this just amplifies that existing tomato flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're also going to season it. You want to give okay. me a little bit of sea salt? You got it. You definitely need to season the cheese and season the tomatoes and be liberal with it. And also bring that to the table so people can have as much more as they like if they like it a little bit saltier. Yes. Some black pepper. So these are all the ways that you're trying to bump up the flavor from the trauma of your first caprese salad being bland. Absolutely. So you're layering it, you're making sure you, the sun-dried tomatoes are gonna add a major punch, the salt and the pepper for sure, and then bring extra to the table so that people can have it to taste. That's and right. And then mixing up the three herbs instead of always doing just the, uh, the one herb is lovely. Yep. And then... Some balsamic. And let's yes. talk about it. Not all balsamics are made equal. Well, mm -hmm. if you spend a little bit more, here's what I always tell people. Yeah. Look in the ingredients list for cook, cooked grape must because that's... Cooked grape must? Must. That's, must. that's this beautiful, thickened, aged Gosh, balsamic. that looks good. And you see how thick it is? It's nice. It's sweet. Some of the cheaper... Well, nice. 
<laughs> Some of the cheaper balsamics <laughs> are very watery, very acidic. They don't yeah. have that sweetness. So if you just get yourself a bottle of this, a little bit goes a long way. Bring this to the table as yes. well. Yes. And that's it. Listen, that I like that you said what to look for in terms of the ingredient in this, but all I would look for is this teeny tiny bottle for a lot of money. I'd be like, this is probably going to be it. You're not wrong. You're not right? wrong. Right? It's <laughs> whenever you see something as a small little bottle, it's like you don't need a ton because it's super concentrated and it's probably really good. Exactly. It's a right? good investment. Yes. And you can really taste the difference. Beautiful. Serve it with some bread for dipping. Absolutely. And that is a beautiful centerpiece to start your backyard lunch, dinner, whatever. Yes, this is Summer absolutely gathering. gorgeous and beautiful al fresco outside with friends and family. Yeah. I could see this being a really great uh, recipe for summer. Mm -hmm. I mentioned friends and family because uh, because there is a new City Line YouTube series happening right now. It is all about Paul. It is all about food, friends, family. Tell us a little bit about it. So that's what it's called. It's yes. all about entertaining. So it's been a long time since we've gotten together. You can tell, I'm sure, everyone's getting together. Yes. Yeah, everybody needs recipes for these gatherings. And my recipes are very fun, but they're also achievable. And this yeah. is a companion series with Sarah Gunn's Tablescapes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you the recipes and cocktails that are easy to make and fun and will surprise and delight and Sarah Gunn will show you how to make a beautiful table setting to match. I love that. And you know what both of you do really, really well? Pretty things. Thank you. So your <laughs> your recipes, all of them look as gorgeous as this, oh, yeah. with the added extra bonus of tasting good. That's which is really, really important, right? Some people can do the good food, but it looks like a dog's breakfast. You do the good food and it looks pretty. Thank you. It's, it's what beautiful. A <laughs> no, it's lovely. And uh, and I just want to mention a shout out to the gravlax that you did, uh, the gravlax that you did on the show. My husband tried it. It was fantastic. The kids love it. You did a very good job. Oh, I love very that. Very accessible recipes. You can find them all on our website as well. Thank you so much. Episode uh, two of Food, Friends, Family, and Tablescapes happening today right after City Lines. So find it exclusively on our YouTube channel. And don't forget, just subscribe so you never miss a new episode. We have a lot of amazing original series happening on our YouTube channel. Chef, thank you so much for that. Thank you. So excited.